Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Angular developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about how long a promise can remain in a pending state. They want to know if there's a time limit for this waiting period and whether there's a way to terminate a promise if it takes too long to resolve. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. When you create a promise in JavaScript, it can remain in a pending state indefinitely. This means that if the asynchronous operation it represents takes a long time, the promise will not automatically time out. However, it's important to note that promises do not have a built-in mechanism to terminate themselves after a certain period. If the service you're waiting on is slow, your promise will remain pending until it either resolves or rejects. If you need to handle cases where a promise takes too long, you can implement your own timeout logic. One common approach is to use the promise.race method to race your original promise against a timeout promise. In this example, if your original promise does not resolve within five seconds, the timeout promise will reject, allowing you to handle the situation gracefully. Lastly, while promises are useful, consider using observables for more complex scenarios, especially when dealing with multiple asynchronous operations. They provide more flexibility and built-in mechanisms for cancellation and retries. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. A promise can stay in a pending state as long as the page is loaded. You can create a wrapping promise with a timeout to handle errors. If the timeout is reached, it will trigger an error, but the promise will still wait for the full response. Observables may handle cancellations differently. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A promise can remain in a pending state indefinitely if it's created without resolving or rejecting it. For example, a promise created like this will never settle. New promise will solve. Remember, a promise is just an object for attaching callbacks, not a control for the asynchronous operation itself. Most users interact with promises returned from asynchronous APIs. Creating a promise is usually unnecessary unless you're wrapping a legacy callback API. Ideally, we wouldn't need to create promises at all. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.